Hey, Vite Nation, Tom Burton, your superintendent, back with distinguished alum. 2020, he didn't graduate in 2020 now. He graduated the great <laughs> class of 1979. Myron Brown, Myron, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, listen, uh, I know it's tough being in Cabo and all and, and carving out some time to be with us, but thank you so much. So, Myron, let's jump into it. Class of 79. Talk a little bit about your experience at Princeton and uh, what it means to you. Well, for those that know me, know I am a Viking loyalist. As a Viking loyalist, I have stayed in touch with the school uh, always. I'm following football team now. Uh, I was a youth coach, coach uh, for over 20 plus years. And the current uh, Princeton Viking team has maybe 12, 13 of my players starting uh, on the team. Okay. And, and I've coached uh, such kids as uh, Darian Henry, who's at Ohio State now. Uh, the current roster, Nas Lukeman, Dante Flanagan. I coached all those kids. So I've sent hundreds, hundreds of kids to uh, the Vikings uh, to play varsity sports. And I've also coached uh, in Springdale as well uh, and, and basketball. So I've coached basketball in Springdale and Lincoln Hikes. And I'm very proud of that. And when kids see me in the community, they just call me Coach Myron. That's my name. My first name is Coach. My last name is Myron. Myron. Okay. <laughs> so, so hey, when I see Coach Parker later today, I'm just going to tell him that, listen, Coach, you've done a good job coaching. But the real credit belongs <laughs> to Myron Brown because he has 12 starters on the team. Yes, I, I have a lot of kids, uh, both of the yeah, corners, safety, linemen, defensive linemen. Right. They, they came from the League of Ice Tigers many years ago. Well, Nas, uh, I, I presented Nas with the Player of the Game Award last Friday. So right, that was right. a big honor. You know, I've talked to Nas since he was in sixth grade uh, yes. and actually played basketball with my son, Tommy, who's a senior uh, as well, when, when they both used to hoop. Uh, but anyway, so talk specifically about so Princeton. I know you, your influence, but what about Princeton? What makes Princeton unique? And maybe talk about your specific experience walking the hollowed halls of Princeton High School. Well, Princeton, even back when I was in school in the 70s, was a, a unique school. Uh, and, and I've heard you speak of the diversity uh, of Princeton, but it was that way in the 70s. And my particular class, the class of 79, I think at the time, and you can correct me because I think you have statistics, it was the largest class uh, for Princeton. And, and it was a unique class in that at one point in time, the freshman class was split between Princeton Valley East and Princeton Valley West, which was in the old Lincoln Heights High School, then an old Woodline School. Mm -hmm. So it was very unique. Uh, while at Princeton, uh, I played a few sports, played basketball, played foot, uh, baseball, football, um, so acapella choir, National Honor Society, junior and senior year, uh, honor roll, all four years. Um, and while there, I actually started coaching while I was there. So I've mm -hmm. been coaching for a long time. Um, Princeton is and has always been a very diverse school and very academically challenging school. So my academics were really, really important to me and, and allowed me to get to, to the point where I am today. So my uh, graduate in uh, May or June of 79. So, and then what, what happens? Where do you go? What do you do? And what did you do for your career? I went to the University of Cincinnati for two years and got a social degree there. And once I realized uh, I'm money driven, that I was going to make the type of money that I wanted, I went back to school, got my bachelor's degree at Wilberforce University. Hmm. And my current career, I am a senior manager, quality policy and audit section at Toyota. I've been with Toyota uh, 25 years. Mm. And with that responsibility, I'm the, I hate to use the word police, but the Toyota police, when there's a problem, um, my group that I manage go in and to look at what happened and make sure that we, what we call recurrence prevention is in place, that everything has been fixed and it won't happen again. So uh, graduate from the great Wilberforce. Yes, sir. Uh, great, great HBCU right down the line, right across from that other school, the Marauders. Yes, sir. State. But and you know, Mark Mitchell, 
Uh, Chris yes, Malone sir. is the head yeah, he's basketball coach. Now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, in fact, he's, he has a uh, Princeton alum on his team as well. Uh, yes. Uh, the, the guy that's there now is slipping my mind, but I coached his dad football. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah, um, yeah, Mark's a great guy. He's doing a great job there. So, um, all right, so right now, right now, 25 years of Toyota, quality control, really making sure that like, things that get broke are actually uh, not only fixed, but that the same problem won't occur. Now, we know that right now we certainly li live in this great divided country. It's still a great country, but it's really divided. Some of the things that are going on are just crazy. And I tell kids this all the time, like the struggles that people have are struggles that you will not have because you get it because you have been in this beautiful, diverse environment. You've talked about it a couple of different times. So in your work right now, how do you think that experience at Princeton has played out to have you be so successful? Oh, I can be in any environment and be comfortable. Very comfortable because of what I learned growing up and being in school. You know, some people are not comfortable in certain environments. That's not me. And what I learned when I was at Princeton, I could speak to anyone at any level uh, in any environment without a problem. I could be in any setting and be totally, totally comfortable and able to speak, able to listen and communicate. That's, yeah, that's wonderful. I, you know, when I, when I moved down here, uh, I would tell people that I'm going to Princeton and they're like, man, I couldn't even find Princeton. Uh, and I would say like, no matter how you look, no matter where you look, you couldn't find Princeton on a map, but you can find it in your heart. Yes. And while maybe seemingly a little bit corny, certainly he's not. Uh, I'll have my third Princeton alum coming up uh, in May, uh, which will be great. We're very proud of, of that. My daughter's a proud grad of UC. Uh, my son's playing for the football team right now uh, down there, which is great, and actually playing, which is amazing. Yep, Bryce. Yes, I know. Yes, sir. Again, yep, I yep. follow football. Yep, yep. <laughs> so we're really, really excited about that, and Tommy will be doing something. So – you know, there's always something about Princeton. Uh, what's one thing you want to leave Vite Nation with right now about Princeton? My ability and my past in connecting with the youth at Princeton to always give them a positive word, to always seek to do better, uh, to not sad settle for the status quo, and something else about the youth at Princeton that I want to communicate and I have communicated, I know when I was growing up, there was a heavy, heavy emphasis in athletics. And a lot of kids put all their eggs in one basket. And as you and I know, the percentage that makes it to even college and then even to the next level is extremely thin. So you have to be good enough at something else for someone to pay you. You could be a professional in something other than sports. So that's the legacy that I want to live, leave uh, at Princeton. And, and something else that I don't think I mentioned to you before, I've had the opportunity to facilitate the granting of scholarships of Princeton students from my fraternity. So I was able to facilitate that. You can go ahead and rep your uh, fraternity right now. Go ahead and shout out loud and proud. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the first, oldest, and coldest. Phi A. Yes, sir. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, Myron. You did a great job. And, of course, as always, go Vikes. Go Vikes. <laughs>